Good afternoon. Um, I've been waiting for another game to come that turn up tomorrow that I wanted to play. And so I didn't want to set up anything heavy today. So I was umming and I wanted to play. And then I suddenly thought, I've got, just got the latest C3i magazine from GMT number 34. And, and included in that was a, a solitaire Vietnam game, as you can see on here, Firebase Vietnam. So I thought, set this up and see what it's like. And I've had a quick scan of the rules um, and it does seem pretty simple, but should play quite quickly. But um, anyway, enough of that. I'll get on with the game and see what we think of it. So let's set the scene. 31st of January 1968, Vietnam, the Tet Offensive. You've just turned out the lights and are drifting off to sleep when the alarm siren starts wailing. A staff sergeant runs into your tent and announces the Viet Cong are attacking the perimeter. With all the other high-ranking officers, you run to the Tactical Operations Centre. From there, you organise the defence of the city. Of the, sorry, defence of the city of Firebase Alvarado and call for support. But as the North Vietnamese and Viet Cong forces strike a number of other targets throughout South Vietnam, you'll have to hold out on your own for some time. So on to play. What do you need? There's very few counters. You can you can see on here, and I'll I'll explain those as I'm going along. And all you need to bring to the party are four six-sided dice. You win by holding out until support arrives and wipes out the attackers. And this is your support. Support is on its way. You start there. You've got to get it to there. Um. So place a VC squad. You have your squads here, and simply enough, they have a one on that side and a two on two on that side. And as you can imagine, one is one squad, two is two squads. So they go on the outer perimeter. You place a VC squad, face one up on the outer perimeter as the starting threat. Place the limb marker. There you go. On the zero space. I've lost my place already. Place the hold marker on the 10 space. That's hold the line. That's your defensive zone perimeter. So as you start, the perimeter is at full strength and that will get knocked down as you're going along if you don't get rid of the VCs each turn. And the support marker on the zero space down here. As I already said, your support starts there. You've got to get it to there to win the game. Uh, um, and that, basically, that is the setup done. I'm just trying to see. Just bear with me two seconds. Apologies for that. I've already said how you win, you get to there. And I was trying to work out, I thought I knew how, how you lost, but I wasn't sure, I couldn't see it in the rules. So yeah, you lose if your hold the line goes down to zero. So you, basically you've been overwhelmed if it gets down to zero. Play is divided, each turn is divided into five phases. There's, there's no set number of turns, you carry on until you win or lose. So either support comes or you get overwhelmed. So, the first thing you do is you add VC squads in the outer perimeter zone according to the Vietnam, Viet Cong assault level below the squads on its way track. More Viet Cong appear each turn as time passes. So th there is one uh, little ambiguity on this, but when it's on four, five or six, two squads appear each turn, seven or eight, three squads, nine or 10. Now, what it does say in the early turns is that you can tell I'm playing a game that I've not played before um, when the spot is one of the first three spaces of the spot is on its way track it's one squad now you see there one squad is for one two or three but you start on support level zero so I don't think you had a VC. You're not really good. Not going to make. It's not going to be game breaking if I get that wrong. But the way I'm going to play it is: you do not 
add of EC in the first turn, another one. It's a learning game anyway, so it doesn't matter. So what you then do is you assign dice. So you've got your four dice and you can do three actions. You can use the dice to eliminate VC. We've only got one there at the moment. So you'd eliminate one VC on a roll of three, four, five, or six. So I'm gonna put two dice there to make sure I get rid of that VC. You can then put dice here and on a roll of three, four, five, or six, each dice will help you to improve your perimeter. Now we're on the maximum at the moment because we've only just started being attacked. So no point putting any dice on there. So the other two dice are gonna go here, contact on a roll of five or six. Each five or six moves us one closer to that, but it also increases the number of squads that will appear each turn, the VC squads. That will make sense as we're going along if it doesn't at the moment. So I'm gonna roll these, two dice. There is also various events that happen if you roll doubles. I'll go through those as, uh, as and when they occur. <laughs> we've got a double. So we can eliminate two VC squad because we've got two fours. Only one in play, so that's gone. So that VC squad is gone. Now, a double four is DD Mao. You re remove an additional VC squad from the outer perimeter zone. DD Mao, I think in polite terms, means get lost or move quickly. Um, if you're ever seen the deal hunter, I think that's uh, I think that's where I've heard the phrase before. So we haven't got any. We've got rid of them all at the moment. It will get more difficult, I'm sure, as more squads appear. So that's that turn done. Now we're going to roll, nothing, not roll for that. And when we're going to roll tactical ops centre, five or six. We're in contact with the tactical ops centre and we can move support along. And we haven't, we've got another double. A double two is Charlie. So we add a VC squad in the outer perimeter zone. I'm glad that's happened. Not for gameplay purposes, because it makes it worse. Sorry, I should have moved the eliminated marker a long one for the VC squad that I eliminated, because there is a bonus once you get to 10. Okay. So, phase four now is the VC attack. Each VC squad that is currently present in the outer perimeter zone, one, attacks the de defensive zone. Each VC squad face one up, inflicts one damage. Each VC squad face two up, inflicts two damages to the defensive zone. For each damage, decrease the hold marker by one. You've been overwhelmed when the hold marker reaches zero space, which is what I was trying to find. So we're down to nine. So we've got taken a bit of damage. Phase five is if we get to 10 VC squads limited. So I've not even read that bit yet. So we'll, we'll come to that as and when it happens. So we now, Back to the start. VC squads, VC assault. We're still in the zero, so as I was playing it, again, this might be wrong, there's no VCs to add here. So I now allocate my dice and I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do the same again. No, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to do one there. I'm going to try and repair that. And then I'm going to try and get contact with the support centre. So we need it. Three, four, five, or six on this one. Oh, we've got a four. So we've got rid of that squad and we move the eliminated marker on by one. Now we're trying to repair the line. Three, four, five, or six. And a six. So we move that back up to 10. It's going well. Now we now we need a five or six to try and contact the attack ops. And we've got a six, so we move on one. There's no VC there, so there's no damage to the perimeter. So it's going well early on. Back to the VC assault. We're now on this bit where it does say assault one squad. So one goes on there. Allocate. Do the same again. Two here, two here. I'm going to do one. Do I do one there and three there to try and... Yeah, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to go just one. So I need a three, four, five or six. Two. So the VC squad is still there. 
Now we need a five or six with these dice. Two fours and a two. No damp, no, no extra support. So we need a five or six. But a double four is DD now. So we remove the VC squad. So that helps us so we don't take any damage to the perimeter this turn. But what it doesn't say actually. Now, if we were successfully eliminating the V squad from the outer perimeter when we're rolling dice here, we get a score. Don't think we do here because this is just says remove a VC squad from the outer perimeter zone. So is it? Is and and <laughs> so to explain it, my understanding of the words is get lost. So I'm not sure whether that actually means literally we've got rid of them, eliminated them, or they are lost. So I'm not going to move that marker along. But no damage to the perimeter, no VC squads in place. Back to the next phase. One Viet Cong moves on to here. And I'm going to do the same again with the dice. Try and get a bit more lucky on this. So we've got one dice here, three dice there. So let's roll. Try and eliminate this squad. Six. So we've eliminated that guy. Now we've got three dice. And get some support and a six and no doubles or triples so we move that along one no vc that was quite a successful turn still good with the perimeter still just one so I'll keep tapping there and you can't actually see it it's still just one let me move that back a bit Viet Cong assault squad sorry i didn't realize that wasn't in play there I've probably been mentioning that and you couldn't see it, but yeah, one squad, two squads, three squads. So one squad there. So I'm going to do the same again. One dice there, three dice here. Let's try and get rid of this V. Five. He's gone. Four squads eliminated. Contact Tack Ops. Nothing again. So we're not doing too well there. But double one, Charlie. Add a VC squad in the outer perimeter zone. Not quite so good. So we've done our bit, but now the VC are attacking. So they drop that defensive zone there because we've got one VC squad. And we've got another one coming as well. Viet Cong Assault one squad. So that turns over to two. Now this is it's already starting to get a little bit more. I'm going to put two there to try and get rid of those. Not doing anything to the Zeppelin defensive zone. But I'm going to try and get some support. So we've got two VC to try and get rid of. Three, four, five, and six. Six and a one. So we've got rid of one. Eliminated five now. And we're going to try and contact Tac Ops. Five or six. Double six, which is fantastic because this moves on to two, on by two, sorry. And we eliminate, because it's a double, DD Mao. We remove a VC squad. So we don't take any damage to the perimeter either that turn because we've got rid of them all. VC attack, and then we're now into the phase where they get two squads coming at us. So... I'm going to do a two and a two. Let's see if we can get both of those eliminated. A double four. A double four, we eliminate two. It's also DD now, but there isn't any left because we've got rid of them both. So we, we go up to seven eliminated now. And we go to Tac Ops. Let's get some more support along. A six and a two. So we move it on by one. We're halfway there. Went pretty well. No VC, so no damage to the perimeter. Still in the two squad zone here. So two. And it's, it's working well so far, so let's do two and two. Six and a one, so we've eliminated another one. So that one left. Let's contact. And a 
six and a four. So we, we've got one and the other one misses. We have got a VC in play. So it inflicts one damage. So we're here. Um, we're getting towards this 10 VC squads, which we'll talk about once we get there. So we're still on the two squads bit, but you can see now it's starting to get a bit heavier. So I'm actually, this might not be the right thing to do. I've got two and two. I'm going to try and get the perimeter back up because this is going to build up. So if I get move up to there, it's going to get three squads. So I'm, I want to get that up to 10 before I move into this zone. So let's try and get rid of these squads. I could do with a double four, double five, or double six. So, yep. <laughs> double one. We don't want a double one because that's. We've not eliminated any of those. And double one is Charlie. Add a VC squad in the outer perimeter zone. So let's turn that one over. So we're now at four squads there. This is not starting to struggle a bit. So we're now going to try and improve the perimeter and we need three, four, five, or six. Two. And a five and a one. So we've hit with one. Yeah, I'm sorry, hit. We've repaired by one level with the five, not with the one. Nothing to do on that one. Now it's starting to get tricky because that we've got four squads here. So one, two, three, four. And there's another two squads appearing. So it's starting to get very heavy. And now I have to think what to do. Um, so in theory, if I don't get rid of those, I've lost, I've lost the game next to them. I was thinking the game seemed easy to start with, and it, it is to start, and then, uh, what do I do, what do I do? Well, I can't get rid of all of those, so I'm going to, do I roll all four on the VC? Yeah, all four, I'm going to try and get rid of those, but I'm still going to drop down by two, so here we go. Oh yeah, proper disaster because we've got a three and a five. So we've eliminated two, so we're up to 10. So we do get a bonus. Okay, so we've eliminated two, so they're going off. But a double one is the Charlie event, which adds a squad back. So we've, we're actually not even gonna to get to the bronze star medal because we have lost. Um, so I'm gonna explain what the bronze star is while I'm talking about the game. Um, when you, when you have successfully eliminated 10 VC squads, select one of the rewards below and play it immediately, then reset the eliminated marker back to zero so you start doing it again. So, so close to doing well because the first bonus is eliminate all VC squads currently in the outer perimeter zone. So we could have got rid of all five. Um, or carry out three defensive tasks, increase the hold the line level by three. Ignore phase one next turn, which is the VC squads appearing. Um, and contact has been established, so you could increase the support marker by one. Each bronze star reward cannot be taken more than three times in a game. But the reason we can't do that is because that's phase five. Phase four is each VC squad that is currently present in the outer perimeter, perimeter attacks the defensive zone. So we have got... 5 VC, so before we hit the phase 5, we go 1, 2, 3, and suddenly, from me thinking it was quite comfortable, we've lost the game. Now, there's also a two-player game variant. Each player plays and rolls two dice across phases. Ah, so it, it's a bit two-player variant. It's just basically it's co-op. You just split it. Um, and then a second tour of duty variant. So each turn during phase one, add one additional VC squad in the outer perimeter zone. In phase three, which is when you roll in your dice, 
apply results, then re-roll any six rolled in the outer perimeter and defensive zone. You can continue rolling and applying results as long as you get sixes. And you increase the support marker by one for each roll of four, five or six in the tack ops center. So that's a, an advantage, but the other parts are disadvantage. So that's a tougher game. Um, and that is a quick 20 minute play of Firebase Vietnam. That's, that's quite funny. It's not, it's not the deepest game in the world, but it, it, it's quite a fun. Yeah. If you've got a quick half hour, and it's worked perfectly because I did have a quick half hour, you've got that. And you can just bring this out, as you can see, very simple. That's, that's the first time I played it through. I had a quick scan of the rules, but very simple. Good fun. I enjoyed that. Thank you for tuning in.